Between the Israeli military and Hamas continues to escalate. Plus, a first-of-its-kind program in New Bedford trying to improve. Israel continues. Hundreds here in Rhode Island gathered to show support for the country and its people. A solidarity rally was held at the Jewish Community Center in Providence. ABC 6 News reporter Samantha Labian was there and has the story. Songs and prayer for Israel and its citizens dominated Wednesday night solidarity rally at the Jewish Community Center in Providence. This is the best example of how the United States, the community here, and the citizens of Israel stand together in these difficult times. Hundreds packed into the facility, calling for an end to the violence. I have a brother there, I have friends uh, in the IDF, I have uh, friends that their kids are, it's operation, and sure we worry for them. The goal of the rally Yay. is to show support for Israel, and many people who I spoke with said it accomplished just that. The best thing we could ask for to have communities of people who are supportive of Israel. Naomi Summer lives in Israel. She's in Rhode Island visiting family. She was one of many speakers who explained to those in attendance exactly what it's like living in the country with the ongoing violence. I don't, I personally don't live in a place that's in high risk of rockets, but um, lots of my friends are. A local rabbi read the names of the Israelis killed in the recent round of violence with Palestine, and the crowd joined together in a song of prayer for the fallen. The gathering comes just one day after a missile landed close to the main airport in Tel Aviv, prompting U.S. flights to and from the country to be suspended. In the past two weeks, more than 680 Palestinians and more than 30 Israelis have been killed. In Providence, Samantha Lavian, ABC 6 News. The